Hi everyone, and welcome to episode two of the Saloon Build series. So in this episode, I'm going to work on taking all this plywood off the exterior because there's shiplap underneath and I believe it's all in pretty good shape. So um, we'll get started on that and see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is take these rods out of here that hold the bin together when it's full of grain so it doesn't all collapse. So I'll just take a crescent wrench, I guess, and loosen those rods off. And hopefully that works. We'll try it out. So I got my fancy little crescent wrench here with the slider. Goes nice. Oh yeah, and this does exactly what I thought it was gonna do and just spin. But luckily, I brought some vice grips because I thought this might be an issue. I'll tighten these up. Come on. And I'll just let that spin until it hits the stud and then hopefully it'll work. Okay, yeah, that works. Okay, perfect. Now I'll just go do that same thing to all of these and then we can start pulling plywood off. Alright, now that we got those out, um, I should have done that at the start, it's way easier to walk in here, I don't have to duck. But now we will go ahead and start removing the sheathing. So I think I'm going to start up on the gables because, I don't know, it's just easier to go from top to bottom usually. That's the way it was built, so. Easiest way to demolish something by hand is just to reverse build it. If you try and do it out of sequence, you're just going to run into issues. Now, I don't really know what, what the best approach to this is. There's like a hundred nails in there. That's why I say when you're building something, keep in mind the person who has to take it apart. Be kind to them. Because there's crazy people like me who want to take buildings apart. <laughs> literally hundreds of nails in here. This bar might be a little big to wield with one hand, but The 
plus quarter inch plywood with the nails in it. Taking this off would be so hard. Every two feet would have worked just fine. I was thinking this stuff would just kind of peel right off. That shiplap looks pretty decent though. part off. Now I'm not gonna bore you guys with the rest of this because this is taking way too long. I got all the plywood off, it actually came off a lot easier than I thought it would. Once I was at a comfortable spot on the ground, I could just grab a full sheet and they came right off, so that's all right. So now I guess we'll start taking off the ship lab.
Well, I think I'm gonna shut her down for today. Um, got all a little bit off this side. Um, a lot of it's kind of just firewood. It either broke or it's a little bit rotten on the outside. But that's not going to be a problem because I probably have all of the uh, shiplap that I'll need just off the roof. Um, so, yeah, there's still quite a few good pieces here, though. And it looks like it's a lot better on this side. Looks like it might have got a little wet on this side, but... Anyways, I'll stack the good stuff on the trestles and put the bad stuff in the firewood pile. Alright, so I'm back out at the farm here today. Um, I haven't been here in four or five days just because I've been busy at the passive house and everything. But we had a pretty good windstorm uh, come through. Looks like it blew all my lumber off. And the building's leaning pretty good, so um, I don't know. This thing might collapse by the time I actually get to take all the sheathing off of it. It's harder to tell on camera, but in real life, it's definitely <laughs> leaning pretty good. And might have an issue with um, the siding because it looks like somebody else spoke for this building first and it looks like they've started moving it so I don't know what I'm gonna do there but um yeah we'll figure something out so I'll get to work here okay so I just talked to my grandma and apparently the the people who came to move this building uh weren't too experienced in building moving and they just couldn't get it moved so they just abandoned it so I guess I can take the siding off it, but uh, they damaged it quite a bit in the process. So that's nice, but whatever. Um, they got it all uh, balanced up here. So just my, my weight can move the whole building here. If I, oh yeah, there we go. I can just walk across it. And... So they got it kind of balanced right up all precariously there, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just disassemble this whole thing eventually because um, it just looks ugly sitting like that. But anyways, uh, we'll get back to work over here. From this angle, you can see how much it's leaning. So I'll uh, start taking the sheathing off this front side, I think. Okay, well I got that all stripped, um, but the building is pretty weak now. Um, it's leaning pretty good and I can wobble it rather concerningly easily. So I'm gonna take some of the scrap two by fours, probably uh, this one right here, and just put a brace up and kind of hold it straight well something like that just going to the top plate there should hold it just sturdy enough so that if a strong wind comes it won't pull the rest of it over but anyways um 
I think I will go home now and rest and tackle the rest of this either tomorrow or some other day. All right, so we got some serious wind issues today. I came out to the farm here as soon as I could and this building was pretty much over. It was all torqued. So I went as fast as I can and just pulled it with the truck with some tow straps and then put a bin anchor down and uh, just anchored it. Um, because this thing is going to blow over. The wind is picking up. So uh, I'll head back to Loose Land and finish this roof. And then I'll be back here to work on this after. All right. Back here after work. And uh, that little bin anchor wasn't really holding too well. So I just had to uh, anchor it to my truck. Uh, these are all I could find. And uh, they don't hold too well. So... Uh, I think I'm going to start working on this side. to this side okay now I suppose I could show you uh, how I'm gonna do this so I just got these these are kind of cheesy little things uh, they should hold though um, once the sheathings off this wall which I plan to do today yet uh, there's not gonna be a whole lot of force like that thing catches a lot of wind so I think I'm kind of gonna uh, pull it at the same angle here so I'll just grab this other toe strap. I don't know that I'll really even need to pull on it that much. And then I think what I'll do this is how I did it on the other one. Actually, I should go over top of the truss. Just like that. And then I'll just choke it. So I have all 20 feet of length. There, that'll get a good grip on it. easy enough to just pull by hand. I don't even need to use the truck, I don't think. <clears throat> we'll grab another ratchet strap though. Or did I have that other one in here? No, I must have put it in the back seat. Grab a bin anchor. <clears throat> okay, so we'll put this anchor right about here. Okay, now that's in there. So I'm gonna hook this on. Probably just pull this. There, that looks nice and square just like that. So it's got a little bit of tension on it. 
and then yeah those things don't really hold all that well but um, there's not a lot of force so there uh, that should be secure and uh, safe for me to start working on this side and uh, just something else to add um, some of you might be wondering why I don't just put a brace across the wall um, first of all I don't really have any good nails here just these little uh, spent eight penny nails that are laying around and um, with bracing it could blow over anyways but with these anchors like there could be hundred mile an hour winds or whatever which the wind is probably getting up there today probably 70 for sure um, and you know, it would blow over. I'd be confident that these would hold so that's why I uh, opted for the anchors rather than braces now I guess I could show you uh, kind of what I'm actually doing here so I got my cat's paw nail puller and my hammer and you just take this and get under the nail and just pull it out like that it's actually a very every single nail in here. there it is officially just the frame um, I'm not even really gonna bother picking up this lumber until I can get uh, the trailer back here because it just keeps blowing off and I don't want to move it any more than I have to so hopefully the next time I have to move it we'll just be into the trailer so I hope you enjoyed episode 2 of the saloon build um, be sure to stay tuned episodes every Friday. Uh, be sure to check out my Instagram, my merch store, um, my Facebook group if you're on Facebook. Anything like that, links will be in the description. And yeah, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. Stay healthy everyone. with the wind and with the strength of this building. I've decided I'm just going to pull it down with my truck. If I don't take it down, the wind is going to hook that on there.